What up, backwoods? You know one last time, wasn't you? Mr. Backwoods. What up, Mr. Rubin? But hey, both of y'all can't be number one now. I think Backwoods got you beat. I think Backwoods beat you to the punch. What up, Mr. Rick? Mr. Backwoods, chilling at the park. A little hot outside, ain't it? Got you. What, what video was you watching, bro? The last one I, I made, what was that? Uh, when I was in Arkansas? Yeah, I was, the last video I dropped, a couple yesterday? Yeah, it was yesterday, when I was in uh, Arkansas. What up, Terry? 10 hour break, Ruben. Break or break? B R E A K. Yeah, I'm taking my 10 hour break too. I'm already at the ship. Well, at the coast sign in. I'm already here. I got a 6 a.m. drill. I just went, went back there, took the bungees off my load, took some of the straps off. There we go. Break. See that? See that, Ruby? Break. Hey, I know what you were talking about, bro. It's all good. I know what you were talking about. No problem. No problem. I'm not a college professor. I'm just a truck driver. I might not be the sharpest knife in the drawer. I see the sun keep making my shirt change color. <laughs> the shirt, you see right now is, yeah, it keep, my damn shirt keep changing color. When I lift the cup up, turn the other cup. See that? <laughs> Yeah, man, tell me how you got through the windstorm. Yeah, hell yeah, that did happen in Milton. That's when I, uh, what up, what up, Tracy? New Milton trainee subscriber. What up, Emil? Yeah, when I was in Denver, that's when I had that flat. No, I got, hey, what up, Aaron? That's when I got stuck in the, uh, when I got stuck in the damn snow. They talking about 10 miles away. I put it in the Qualcomm, it was like 50 miles. Yeah. And I had like 30 minutes to get there. They talking about 10 mile dead head. Matter of fact, that video is called uh, Icy, uh, Icy Crash in a Blizzard or something. Yeah, I got stuck in the snow. I remember all my loads, man. I picked that load up, took it to Texas. What up, Mr. Ash? What up, Ruben Bravo? Have I ever been to Tulsa? Of course I've been to Tulsa. I used to work for Melton. Of course. I've been to Tulsa a few, a few times. Yeah, have I ever been to, to Tulsa? Yes, I've been to the uh, Hard Rock Cafe a couple times. I've been to Tulsa more than a few times. Aaron, you still watching? He asked me, have I ever been to Tulsa? Yeah, I've been to Tulsa too many times. Uh, what up, Malik? Mr. Malik. Tell me everything I know. Come on, man. Not me. N not the master topper. <laughs> oh, man. You saw my video when I went to Bennettville, South Carolina. Hey, that place is slow, man. That place is slow as hell. You from Tulsa? Yeah, I've I, I been to Tulsa when I worked for Melton. What up, Mr. Chris? Chris Walker? Dallas. Yeah, man, sitting up here. Sitting up here chilling at the Cosign E the night before. I ain't got nothing else to do. I was at the Petro right up the road. But since I got to be here at 6 a.m., I went ahead and came all the way here. 
Ain't no need to sit at the truck stop, spend money. You ain't got to. Cause that's all you're gonna do sitting at the truck stop for about 15 hours. Spend money. Drink Mountain Dew. Mr. Backwoods. Master Topper. Yes. I had to talk this load I got now. Some awkward, awkward metal metal uh tubing. I got a couple rips in my tarp. I got like three rips. They ain't too bad, but it ripped it a little bit. Matter of fact, I'm about to go ahead and put this next address in my GPS. Cause I wanna know where to hit how I wanna know how far away it is. I'm gonna go ahead and do it now. Save me a little bit of time in the morning. You know what? I never ran those train units. I never ran those before. As long as I've been flat, been never ran them. I see you, Aaron, role model. Ruben, what kind of truck am I driving? Have you seen any of my videos? Have you seen? Hey, I'm driving. I'm driving a Western Star. <laughs> That's what I'm driving. Hey, Aaron, you see that guy? asking what kind of truck am I driving? I'm in a Western Star. A 2020. Do I ever struggle with the straps and strapping the load down in the winter? Uh, to answer that question, I guess, man, one time I busted my ass on some ice, uh, throwing some straps. So I guess you really just got to be careful with the damn ice so you don't bust your ass. <laughs> hey, I was at a lumber yard in Idaho. I was walking around the back of the trailer. Next thing I know, I'm throwing my arms like this. Hell, yeah, I, I hit the ground, and then, uh, Hey, I ain't think nobody saw me. I'm like, damn, ain't nobody see me because I fell hard. Next thing I know, I'm getting up. My hard hat fell off. I'm getting up. All of a sudden, this lady come out the building. She's talking about, are you okay? I was like, damn, where the hell she come from? I me, I busted my ass. So, yeah, I guess. Hey, D, nah, I don't do no fishing. I mean, but I will fish, though. I just haven't, I don't really have the time to do none. But I will fish. I'm about to do a little trip planning right, right quick. Hey, everybody want to use atlases? I seen somebody last night on Facebook. Your buddy snapped his arm. Ah, hell. Hell yeah, you definitely got to be careful, man. Uh, they want you to use three points of contact while you're up there on top of that load, especially at the top. You think about coming to the company, Evan Moon? Hey, hit me on Facebook. I'll get you the hookup. Hit me on Facebook and Instagram. Yeah. What up, Mr. Sin City? About to put this address in real quick see how far i got to go tomorrow petersburg virginia put this address in zip code first two three eight oh four four y'all remember mike jones what's his, what was mike jones number two eight one three three oh eight zero zero four y'all remember mike jones y'all too young for that Three months with rail. How many you got all together? You gotta have a. You gotta have a year uh, to come to PNS, and you gotta have six months flatbed. Yeah, yeah, Chris. Who? Mike Jones. Put this damn address in. Bessemer Road. One nine zero zero. Enter. Compare routes. See which one is. Oh, you got a year. Oh hell, you good, bro. Come on over to the to the freight shakers. In 400 feet, make a U-turn. Oh, 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 buddy, I ain't ready. I ain't ready yet. Okay, I got 140 miles. PNS or die. Yeah, I got 140 miles to go tomorrow. After I drop this load off. Two hours, 31 minutes. Probably take me about three hours, cause I'm probably gonna stop at the truck stop. Get me uh, get me some refreshments. See what kind of deals they got on the uh, on the pilot app. See what kind of buy one, get one free deals they got. Or if they got some free stuff. Y'all know how Pilot is on the Pilot app. If I had to pick between Pilot and Loves, I would take Pilot for that main reason. Because Pilot always got some kind of promotions on the app. You know, buy one, get one free, Mountain Dew. Started with Werner. Okay, yeah, you got plenty of experience. Yeah, you got to have a year total. And you got to have six months flatbed. To come to PNS. Yeah, come on over. I love it over here. Uh, 
Do I ever get anxiety or anything not being able to find a place you're looking for? Uh, uh, I can't I can't say that because you know I do a pretty good job of uh of trip planning. I do a pretty good job with that. Like, and then the trick then the trick that I got is when I get close when I get close to a, a place that I'm delivering to or picking up probably about 20 miles out yeah you, yeah you gotta have six months flatbed yeah when i get about 20 miles out from where i'm at or something i go ahead and pull it up on google maps and i run google maps the same time as i'm running uh my truck my truck gps and and then really you just gotta try not to run past your exit i do that sometimes i might run past the exit Hey, Aaron, I ain't gonna, Aaron, Aaron, we can't tell the people that, man. We can't tell the people don't trip planning. That's part of the game. Yeah, when, when, hey, trip planning, it ain't it ain't like people make it out to be when you're in school. Like, you got to bust out your atlas and get your ruler and do all that, man. Trip planning, I'm going to tell y'all how I trip plan. I get this phone right here. I go to Google Maps. I type in the address. See how far it is. Satellite view. Zoom, zoom in. Hey, that's, that is, don't, 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 don't trust your damn Google Maps to get you all the way there, you know, yeah, cause you might end up in, some, in a fucked up spot, you know, you gotta, you just gotta, really just gotta pay attention. If you know you got an exit coming up in five miles, then you know, you need to go ahead and get yourself set up to get in that right lane where you don't miss that exit. Uh, appreciate that, Evan. Or sometimes, sometimes you might got a left exit. And you might got to, like, like up north in Connecticut, three lanes, you might got a left exit. Sometimes you got to start planning ahead to get on, get on over there in that left lane. <clears throat> so, nah, not really. Not really. I ain't got comfortable with this shit now. What I like about PNS, Aaron, I like, I like being able to uh, have a little freedom out here. Have freedom, go home on the weekends, you know, pick my load, stuff like that. Yeah, yeah, McKinley. Come on, McKinley. Come on over, bro. Come on over. Do I trust any other GPS? Um, I got my other buddies said they, they got Garmin's, but I never use the Garmin. Uh, reason I reason I use Ram McNally is because when I went to the truck stop, I, I liked it for the for the price. They didn't have any good Garmin's at the time, and just like my trainer told me, Ram McNally makes the atlas so why not use the ram and now the gps why not anything else would be uncivilized i hey, i don't know anybody that got them down one of them down tom toms i don't know nobody that got one of them and i'm not i'm not gonna take nothing away from it because i don't know i'm not taking nothing away from that garment because i don't know all i know is i used a ram and alley and it works for me what up trucker's life you already turned that truck in How y'all doing? Yeah, yeah, that's all it is, man. Really just gotta use common sense while y'all here, man. Common sense. Take it easy. Don't speed. Tom, Tom, better in cars. Okay, yeah, I, I, in a car, I just use Google Maps. For Google Maps, you know, you got traffic updates. You know, you got, if you got an accident. Yeah, uh, okay, back to, back to the A. Yeah, be careful on uh, that back. Well, you ain't gotta get on the bypass, you gotta run a car. Hey, I got a question for y'all. I got a question. Has anybody ever went to Atlanta and, and not took the bypass in a truck? What would happen if you try to go straight through Atlanta and without taking the bypass? What would happen? That's a question I've been wanting to know for a while. I mean, are they? Are, I'm, I'm pretty sure, you know, you got trucks going through there. Are, are they just going to randomly pull you over and be like, hey, are you delivering in Atlanta? Like, what's going to happen? Uh, you can't pull up satellite on uh, Ram McNally. Yeah, but, hey, truck is like, but what's going to happen, though? What's going to happen if, I understand it's for local delivery only, but what's going to happen if you do go through it? Are they going to pull you over to verify that you're delivering locally? What's going to happen? How they going to know unless they pull you over and check your bills? But if they see you, I, I guess they're just going to assume that you are delivering in Atlanta. <laughs> been doing it you've been doing it for years yeah man I, I always wondered that man 
I always wondered that. I'm pretty sure you can save a lot of time by going straight through it. Yeah, I, I mean, I don't know if, if you might get a, 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 a more higher price Ram and Alley than I got. Because I got the one that's uh, $3.99 now. Hey, 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 I don't want to try it. <laughs> I don't want to try it, man. <laughs> I don't want to take the chance to get a ticket. Now I got to spend that to my job. But, hey, I try to, try to slide through Atlanta. I don't want to try it. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I got the three ninety nine. Well, it's three ninety nine now, so I don't know. They got another uh, Ram and Alley that's like five hundred. Maybe it can do it. Yeah, I don't know. I, I, if mine can do it, I don't know how to make it happen. Nighttime only. Oh, okay. Yeah, I never tried to run through Atlanta. I know if you if you if on Google Maps it'll try to run you straight through. 740 better than the tablet. Yeah, that's 740. That must be the one that's about 500. Yeah, is that the one that has the uh, the ELD on it? I don't know. I think one of them has an ELD. It's a little smaller than the TND80. It's a little. It's still big, but it's, it's just a little smaller. Hey, maybe maybe later on in life, when, when I when I become a super uh, a super trucker, maybe I'll be running two GPSs. Maybe, maybe then. I have been running two cell, two cell phones and a GPS before. I have done that. I've done that many times. I have the uh, truck GPS set to my destination. One cell phone be set to my destination. My other cell phone might be set, might be set to uh, to like a truck stop or something. Overdrive got the ELD. That might be the one that's like uh, five hundred. That overdrive. I think that one has ELD on it. After 8 or 9 p.m. Yeah, last the last time I went through Atlanta, it was on the bypass, though. It was uh, a couple weeks ago. I parked at a Love's probably about, probably about 25, 30 miles out of it on 20, coming out of Birmingham. And I ran through it about 5 in the morning. And I got through it pretty easy. It was early in the morning when I ran through Yeah, so, but I have been in Atlanta in some, in, in the, in the rush hour traffic and, and paid for it, paid for it dearly. Like, man, like, that shit worse than them. I don't know. I don't know the Atlanta bypass or the George Washington Bridge going into New York. That's, that's two worst places I've been in. I've been in LA one time. But it's been a while ago. I've been in LA and it was bad. But I don't I don't know too much about the West Coast. All I know over here on this side, you know. Yeah, you're right, you're right, trucking E. ATL, we'll definitely fuck your day up. <clears throat> but yeah, but that, that that last time I went through there, I got stuck in rush hour traffic. And I had to uh I had hey I went to Chicago one time. But uh, I, I was like went right right inside the city and came right on out. <clears throat> Can you do regional at PNS if you want to? To tell you the truth, to tell you the truth, bro. Yeah, I think when I was at Milton, I ran I ran to Connecticut about three, four times a month. And then I I, I went to Laredo like three times. But I never really rode on the West Coast. Uh, I think the furthest west, well, I, I've been to Washington, Washington State. Y'all see me now? Yeah, man. I always end up in some in some bad areas. Every time I park at the cosign in the night before, it'd it be a bad cosign in the night before. It'd it be a bad area. <laughs> like, like no service. What up, MOB? Mr. MOB? 
turn into his own flatbed driver. Yeah, Mel, hey. M-O-B, where you been, bro? You been flatbed today? Are you, are you off today? Yeah, I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry about this video freezing up. Y'all still see me? Top job from MOB. Where you from, uh, Daniel Head? What's what's what uh what area you running out of? Check about to check out MOB's top job. Y'all still see me? Uh oh, MOB. Nah, it's, it's, it's my damn service going in and out again, man. I'm down to eight viewers. It's still buffering. I just, I just checked, I just checked your Instagram, MOB. I see that tarp job. Hey, it look pretty solid, man. It look pretty solid. I also see what you posted about the car. A Hellcat or a Z06. Hey, in my, what up, Scoop? In my, in my opinion, I would say you can't, you can't fit too many girls in that, uh, in that, that Z06. <laughs> you can't fit too many girls in that one. I run with the Hellcat. Yeah, both of them nice though. Yeah, I think I'd rather run with the Hellcat. Yeah, it's a pretty solid talk job though. What you got up there? Only need one. Too many bitches. Oh man. Hey, but you might you might got one, but but she might got some friends that might want to ride. Hey, can't beat that. Yeah, you you you. I, I I agree. You only need one, but you know. She might got some homegirls that want to go hang out with y'all. So then you got one in the front. And then you got three in the back. Hey, can't beat that. Hey, that's that's me. That's how I like the road. I, I like the road deep. Yeah, I, I like the road deep. I need a whole crowd. I, I don't ride with a car full of guys. It, it got it got to be got to be uh, uh truckers like you ain't that cool. <laughs> Hey man, yeah, you only need one, but hey, they got friends though. Hey, the, the more the merrier. The more the merrier. That's that's how. Ain't that what they say? Like me, I got a wide body. You got a Yukon twenty five. Okay, okay. Hey, I remember. I remember when somebody told me one time. My, my buddy told me. My buddy back home. He said girls loved uh, Tahoes and Denali's and stuff. He said, yeah, they love them because they got plenty of room, especially if you got a third row. That's that's what I got. I got a Tahoe. So, yeah, you can. Yeah, if you got if you got a crowd, you know, you can definitely take that on a little road trip. You can feel that thing and you got enough room for the for the bags and stuff. Yeah, ain't nothing wrong with that. A couple months ago. I didn't, I didn't, uh, I don't know if y'all seen me on, on Instagram then or Snapchat. I went to Bike Fest, uh, back for Memorial Day weekend down there in uh, Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. I was at Bike Fest. Hey, hey, I had, hey, hey, MOB. Well, I, I ain't gonna, I, I say this at this point in time now, but you know, I just came back from Vegas. But at that point in time, when I went to Bike Fest, I never seen that many girls twerking at one time. When I went to Bike Fest, I seen boy, I, I I done seen it. I seen girls twerking everywhere. I seen girls upside down in the pool twerking, doing handstands in the pool twerking. But when I <laughs> hey bike, hey yeah, you're right, bro. Bike Fest is the shit. I, I was with my girl down there. I wasn't with I, hey. If, I I wouldn't mind going down there with some fellas, you know. 
going down there with some fellas, getting me, getting my own room. You know, you, you get your room, whatever. We get the one with the door where we can open the door and go to your room, you know, like that. Yeah, that, hey, that's what you need right there. Yeah, I was down there with my girl. But yeah, if you go down there with a, like three, four, three, four guys, what up, Daniel? I never been to Mustang Week. I never even heard of that. When they when they got that. Hey, I'm actually I'm actually about to go back to Myrtle Beach. Hey, this truckers life. Hey, they got they got the white people bite fest too. <clears throat> when they drive the Harley Davidsons out there. Hey, go on down there, man. Go go to the bar. Hey, you got hey, go to the bar. Get a couple drinks in you. Hey, bye. Hey, hey, I'm tell y'all what somebody told me. This this other guy told me this years ago. He said, um, he September first. Oh the man, that's that's Labor Day weekend. That's when I was trying to go down there, but but the prices are so high that we're gonna go down there April sixteenth, and uh, it's it's gonna be it ain't gonna cost as much. But Labor Day weekend, everything already booked up. That's when I wanted to go Labor Day weekend. But I tell you what, what day does Labor Day fall on? Looking at my calendar right now. Whoever had this truck before me. They got a damn uh, a calendar. They got a calendar right here. Yeah, Labor Day falls on the first. Okay, so PNS. No, oh, that's a Sunday. So yeah, we probably that probably be like we just got the weekend off right there. Uh, I don't know. Memorial Day we was off Friday and Monday. I don't know how that's gonna work. Hey, but I hey I might ride down there. That's a damn possum right there beside my truck. Sitting there chilling. Yeah, damn. Oh, no, that's a possum? Yeah, it is a possum. I will go out there and catch him. I don't feel like it. But, yeah, anyway, yeah, we're going down there on the 16th. Hey, I'm addicted to crab legs. Uh-oh, uh-oh, Daniel. $5 for a monster. Appreciate it. Appreciate it, Mr. Daniel. Oh, yeah, five bucks. Nasty animals. Police... Yeah, when I went down there for Memorial Day, they had they had all them uh, all them little things set up in the street where you can only drive one direction. You couldn't drive the other way. You only had to drive one direction. But yeah, yeah, I haven't never been to Mustang Week. I just been to Bike Week, and I've been down there like, like random times and stuff like that just to hang out. But but my one of my main things to do when I get down there is is eat some damn crab legs. Go down there and get that buffet. Eat them crab legs. Can't beat that buffet. Yeah, I'ma check it out. I'ma check it out. Hey, cause cause I might I might go down there on uh, Labor Day weekend. I might. But see where I live at in North Carolina, we got uh we got we got Carolina Beach up there in North Carolina. So from where I live, I can drive to Carolina Beach and you know have a little fun. And then I could then I could drive back home. Um Chesapeake Bay for crabs. They got, they got, do they got buffet? That's the only time I like to eat them when they're on buffet. Yeah, but where I live at, I can drive down there and drive right back the same day, like like an hour away from where I live. Myrtle, Myrtle Beach is like two and a half hours. Okay. Hey, I, I, hey, I, I definitely be around. Hey, I be around because you know we're going to be off anyway. Yeah, I, I, if, if I come that way, I definitely let you know. Between Mustangs and half lifted trucks, damn, like the Coronas. Hey, I wish I wish I could drink a beer. I haven't had a beer since I left home. I, I've been, I came back on the road Wednesday. Yeah, yeah I wish I could have. I, I wouldn't mind having me a cold one right now. Yeah, but I, I got me some uh, my trusty pilot cup. Y'all wanna know what I'm drinking? MOB asked me how many do I drink a day? Today I had two. This is my second one. Cause last night I slept at a Walmart. Well, I slept at an abandoned Lowe's parking lot. And Walmart was next door. I slept there last night, went and got me some uh some uh, supplies and stuff like that, some snacks, stuff for the truck. And so so uh I drove down to the truck stop earlier, uh took me a shower. They had like a I had like six people in front of me. They had like six people in front of me, man. And uh, 
So I had to wait like almost 45 minutes for a shower. But I was only 25 miles away from, from where I'm at right now, which is my drop in the morning. So I ended up buying some Mountain Dew. What up, Quentin? Just sitting here chilling, man, chilling. Waiting till this, uh, wait till this gate open up in the morning. I wonder if I could turn this. Yeah, I'm sure y'all where I'm at. See, I'm already, I'm already at my drop. I'm already here, waiting on them. Yep, already here. Yep, already here. Yep, yeah, man. I, I usually get my shower on my ten on my ten hour break, but uh, I'm sleeping. I'm sleeping here tonight. I'm already ready. I already got the tarps off. I already got the straps. I got two straps still on it. So I can uh pull like just to pull in the gate. I got two straps on it. Just just to hold it up there when I pull in that gate. And yeah, I'm ready. I'm in Virginia. Uh can't remember the name of this place, man. Where the hell am I at? Yeah, my truck governed. 65. I'm in Verona, Virginia. Yeah, Verona. Two stop, two stop drop load. And, uh, I dropped this one, then I got the other one. Drop it in uh, Petersburg. They got to be in Petersburg by one o'clock. But from where I'm at, I'm only three hours away from Petersburg. So if I can get out of here, if I can get out of here by, I don't know. Yeah, it's 65. It is what it is. If I can get out, of, if I can get out of this place in the morning by eight o'clock, I'll be in Petersburg by 12 that, that gives me a cushion i'll be there be there by 12. it's i don't know where i could possibly pick up a load at uh if it, if it gets to come my appointment time is at one o'clock in petersburg i don't know if they're gonna make me wait to exactly one o'clock to unload me or if i get there early i don't know if they'll take me then but I, I i always try it if i can get there early i get there early if i gotta wait i just sit there and wait but yeah i don't know maybe they might send me to um Jado Steel, cause I'm already gonna be close by that. Jado Steel up there on 85, and uh, a couple other places up there in that area. Well, yeah, they might, they might got a, might got a pre-tarp load sitting on the yard. Yeah, they might got a pre-tarp on the yard in the for you. Ain't no telling. I don't know. I just know I'm waiting on them, I'm waiting on them to open this gate in the morning so I can get on out. And then I gotta retarp the load before I leave out of here. Yeah, I gotta retarp this and then head to head to Petersburg. But it shouldn't take too long because they're probably gonna take like almost all the stuff off the top. They got one long piece on the top. That's what cut my tarp. Long ass piece. And I think they said it was um 47 foot. Yeah, it's 47 foot. Yeah, so it's 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 running the whole length of the trailer. Hampton's Road, Newport News. I think. All right, all right, Daniel. Appreciate it, bro. I think I've been through Newport News before. Yeah. Once I get it, a load of two brand new. Dog, dog from Texas to Jacksonville. Now, that's that's a pretty, that's a pretty good, uh, pretty good run right there. Yeah, I think I, I think I have been through Newport News. But yeah, send it to me, man. So if, I, if I ever come up there and hit a t and get a ten hour break, you know. Might hit you up, hit you up, see what's going on. Hey, that goes for anybody, man. Anybody. Y'all wanna send me y'all numbers or anything, he just hit me up. Like, especially especially if you live on the East Coast. Cause y'all know I run the East Coast a lot. So y'all, y'all on the East Coast. Hey, hit me up, man. Might might can kick it with you. See how y'all do in y'all cities. Hey, you get kind of boring sitting at that truck stop some nice. Yeah, even even better if, if you got if you got if you got somewhere I can park it at your house. Let me park at your house, man. I'll pull up. Oh, hey, yeah, Mob, you keep me on Instagram, bro. I can give it to you. Oh, I, I got all my information up here, but the only thing, only thing I don't got up here is my phone number. But I got like my uh, email, my Facebook, my Instagram, my Snapchat. But you know, I don't think I don't put a prison my number. I'm pretty sure anybody gonna call me anyway. 
But yeah. Hey, cause that's all I do while I'm driving. Talk on the phone. Call up different people. I'm pretty sure I do the same thing while you're driving. Cause like me, sometimes I could drive, man, I could drive about two, three hours, man. I could drive about two, three hours. Not even playing no music, just just driving. Not even talking to nobody. Or just driving in silence. Just looking, looking at stuff, you know. Y'all know how it is out here. Then you might get on the phone and call somebody, talk to them an hour, get off the phone with them, call somebody else. While you're on the phone with them, somebody else might beep in or call other truckers, see what load they're picking up. Did you tarp it or what? Hey, hey, MOB, I, I don't got a CB either. And, and uh, I actually was going to wait to get one until I, when I, and when I get my lease truck, because they got to hook it up. I got all the stuff right here, but I ain't going to have this truck probably about another month. Yeah, when I get my lease truck, I'll go ahead and go get that CB hooked up. But yeah, I've, I've only been through Savannah one time, and that's when I went down to the Statesville. Statesboro, I think that's the name of it, on 16. Yeah, I've only been down there one time. Other than when I lived down that way, but yeah, trucking, I've only been through there one time. Yeah, Statesboro. Yeah, I, I went down there, picked up some, uh, some lumber. Hey, they still got that club down there called uh, Savannah Down Under. Back in them days, they had Savannah Down Under, and they had another club called uh, Deja Groove. Right there on River Street. Just have some fun out there. They had another club too, man. I can't remember the name of that one. It was like a big warehouse. Yeah, it was a big ass warehouse, man. I can't remember the name of it. 717. Alright. If if my service happens if if my, my service cuts out again, yeah, it's about time for my girl to call me. She took a nap. She had she took a nap, so she been asleep about an hour or two. I know it's about time for her to call. Yeah, I, I haven't clubbed in a minute either, MOB. I, I don't be having time to go to the club now. But you know, only, only time I really only time I really go out, yeah, work. It was called uh Savannah Down Under. It was on River Street. It had those it had those steps that was there. They like they like from the old days, like some small stone steps. Like you you but they had people always busting their ass going down them steps. Them girls going down the steps and high heels and stuff like that. They bust their ass. They always had people always had uh, recording. Suicide that what they is suicide steps. Yeah, they always had people people busting their ass on them. <laughs> Yeah, they back from the old days, but they still there. They made out of cobblestone. Yeah, them girls with them high heels be trying to go down them steps and go up and all that. Then you got drunk people going out there. Man, they always had some people busting their ass out there. I, I never busted my ass, but I've been on them and I know I know that they're they're pretty dangerous. <laughs> oh man. Hey, them motherfuckers are hurt, bro. Yeah, I never failed, but I know them motherfuckers were hurt. Fuck around, fuck around, get a concussion coming up out that club down there. Yeah. Fuck around, get a damn concussion. Yeah, but he gave me, gave me five dollars on a monster. Hey, five dollars on a monster. Hey, what's that movie? Oh, that, that's Friday. When Debo talking about what y'all, what y'all got on my forty. <laughs> Yeah, what y'all got on my forty? Daniel gave me five dollars. I might, I might could buy two forties if, if I still drunk forties. I don't drink them no more. I used to drink when I was young. Yeah, Club Twenty. Oh, they changed the name. Yeah, yeah. Back, back when I was young, me and my buddy, we used to drink uh, Ice House. We used to drink them Ice House forties. We were drinking the whole weekend. This when I had, I had my little apartment, little two bedroom apartment. And my buddy always used to come stay. Yeah, I had another bed in there, just a bed. It had no, well, it ain't really had no sheets or nothing, just a bed. But I had another blanket. I gave him the blanket and a pillow. He going there sleep on the other bed. But yeah, we used to drink forties all weekend. Then we used to line them up, line them up in the hallway, and take them out Monday, uh, Sunday night and Monday morning. We'd take them out, and we'd line them up. He, I had mine on this side, his on that side, like big ass forties. And we'll line them up 
to see who could drink the most, who could drink the most forties. Ice houses. Yeah, that's, that was the good days right there, man. And he was a small dude too. That dude, man, that dude probably about 140 pounds. Have he that dude done had like three DUIs. <laughs> hey, let me he got a DUI one night driving me. He got arrested. Yeah, he was I was in the car with him. And he got two more DUI. He had one before that, and he got one after that. Yeah, that dude used to drink, boy. And I was young. I was born up at like 21, 22, and he was like 25 or 26. And so he used to, before I turned 21, he used to always buy the beer. He'd come, he would just show up. Show up with like four, like a bag with like 440. She'd be like, here you go, D. I'd be like, damn, bro. I can't hang with you like that. I can't be drinking these damn 40s. <laughs> Nigga still catching DUIs. Yeah, bro. He catching, yeah, I was in the car with him one night, got a DUI. They was, they was, they uh, they towed the car. Towed, and I was like, well, yo, I can drive. I mean, I wasn't drunk. But, yeah, they towed the car. Then the damn police gave me a ride home. Not even home. Just on the street that I lived on. Dropped me off at the end of the street. I was like, damn. Hell. I at least could let me drive the car home. Then we would have had to pay, pay for it to come out the damn, um, you know when they take it to the tow yard and you gotta pay for it to get it back. I was like, damn, at least let me drive the car. But I, I had been drinking, but I wasn't drunk. So uh Yeah, that's yeah, that's hey, it wasn't even Savannah. It was HPD in Hinesville. Yeah, HPD. HPD towed that motherfucker. Out there in Liberty as a matter of fact, it wasn't even HPD, it was Liberty County. Liberty County Sheriffs. Hey, matter of fact, MOB, since, since you're from that area, you know you ever heard of TPC? Uh, True Players Club. That's where we were coming from that night. TPC. Out there in, uh, what's that? Out there in Midway on 84. That's where we were coming from. He pulled out on 84. See, me, if I were driving, if I'm coming from a club or something like that and I see headlights coming, I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait till them headlights go on by so I can see who it is. See if it's a cop or something like that. This dumb motherfucker. Headlights coming. He he jumped right on out there. Yeah, we was at, two, at TPC. He he jumped right on out there in front of the damn sheriff. Sheriff went, the sheriff, it was, it's two lanes now. The sheriff, he went on by in the second lane. We was in the right lane. I see it was the sheriff. Next thing I know, he slowed down, get behind us, ride behind us for a little bit. We get down the road, about a mile down the road. I guess he already called in for backup. Got two more sheriffs on this end of the road. And then he hit the blue lights. Yeah, motherfucker got a DUI. Hey, won't catch, hey, won't catch me, especially now that I got my CDLs. Now I got, got my license good. Yeah. Hey, li hey, Liberty County, bro. Liberty County, definitely. Hey, back in the day, when those guys, back in the day, when those guys was getting those on, uh, riding on the 24s and 26s, on them uh, Chevys and stuff like that. That was that was pulling people over. Talking about you had to have a CDL to drive them. To drive them uh them trucks with the with the 24s and 26s, you know guys that are 28 stuff like that. They were pulling people over talking about you supposed to have a CDL to drive uh, a vehicle like that. Yeah, but I ain't I ain't had that problem. I was driving I was driving an old Nissan Altima back then. I ain't had no rims on it. The only thing I had on it was a system. I had my little system and I was happy with that. Yeah, that little awesome should get me everywhere. Yeah, Liberty County, they, hey, they definitely get you, bro. Hinesville, what they call it? What they call it? Uh, Trillville. Liberty County. Yeah, Tahoe on thirty. Yeah, they they definitely fuck with you. Cause, Cause, when they see you driving it, when they see you driving it, the first thing they're gonna think that you that you sell drugs. So they they just looking for a reason to pull you over, and they're gonna use that as an excuse. They see the big rims, they pull you over. Then then they got probable cause. Of, you know they feel like they want to search the vehicle, see if they can find anything. Yeah, that's how they get you. Yeah, they pull you over on that on that technical shit. And then the next thing you know, you in the damn county jail. Yeah, that they don't play out there in uh down there in Georgia. 
in North Carolina, where I live at now, North Carolina, you know, if if you get caught with like a bag of weed or something like that, you get a citation. They don't they don't arrest you. But down there in Georgia, boy, you get caught with any little thing, you going to jail. They don't play with you. Yeah. What what they say about Georgia? You come up, you come on vacation, you leave on probation. That's what they say. Good thing I'm a truck driver now. I don't, I don't, I don't partake in illegal activities. Yeah, good thing I'm a truck driver. Only thing illegal I might do, run past a weight station every now and then. Yeah, every now and then I might run past a weight station. Of course, if um, if if it's if it's too full on the exit ramp. Got a bypass, man. I can't have my trailer sticking out there in traffic. Yeah, Hinesville, Reesville. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, cause out there in Hinesville, you got you know you got a lot of drugs out there. You got a lot of the military out there. Yeah, you got a lot of military guys out there getting high and trick tricking off with the money and stuff like that. Yeah, you know they're just trying to make money in Liberty County. Yeah, cause they they always gonna catch somebody doing something. Pulled over in Australia. Uh oh, Crocky mate. The copper. Get your arse home. Damn, you from Australia? Damn. Hey, that's what's up, man. Crocodile hunter. Crocodile hunter in the building. Whew. All right, gang. I've been up here 50 minutes. I'm about to wrap it up. Hop out, take me a quick whiz. Put this phone on the charger because it's about to die. My low my low battery power done popped up. Hey, did you just hear that GPS? I ain't even moving. Hey, did you hear it, MOB? Hey, motherfuckers. Thought I heard it. Yeah, my GPS just talking about in 500 feet, make a U-turn if possible. Hey, I ain't even moved the damn truck. <laughs> hey, y'all said them GPS is a fuck you up. If in 500 feet, turn left. Oh no, it's saying 500 feet make a U turn. You ain't making no U turn out here where I'm at. Yeah, man, appreciate y'all checking in, man. I ain't about to make no U turn right here. I'm out. Flatbed game.